How weed gummy or Mali get in a school in a Jamaica? No more true Jamaica customs it come through airport. No more true Jamaica customs it come through airport. So I don't want to complain PMP and Mark Golding for legalize cannabis. Look how much I only did I get lock up for, 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 for marijuana. A people must be responsibly enough. Or if you go sell that to Peyton in a, a primary school. Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Anissa Bell Rose. Thanks to all new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 10k, help me to get there, my people. So in this one, my people, we know when I see news circulating of this, you know, edible slash, you know, cannabis weed gummy that was sold to some 60 odd students of the Ocherius Primary School, my people. And we have a picture of that gummies to show one of my people and to see that it was an adult who sold these primary schoolers this edible right begs to question the sanity of that person and right now my people they are throwing some blame as it pertains to you know Mark Golden from in 2020 where he had you know asked for some leniency some relaxation as it pertains to you know ganja slash weed in Jamaica but before we get into all of that my people I want to drop a like on the video as well as coming up in this video um Prime Minister Andrew Owens speaks on the hero boys of the BB Coke school incident so right now my people want to take in a small clipping of you know the school bus showing up with the students at the hospital yeah, um the school bus just coming in roll up with pitney emergency yo yo emergency go emergency with her see See, the, almost the entire school coming down from orchards. The pit them eat the wall of the sweetie. No, somebody carry them straight up to a medical facility too. See? Pit them a faint. So right now up on the screen, when I go say the name of this edible and they have different different flavors my people and it contains 1000 milligrams of cannabis right my people it's called THC and I'm going to show you the label on this very same product it said that this is not an FDA approved product. And if you look closely at the bottom, it says suggested users, adults. So the fact that this man here, what the police am currently looking for right now called Devon Holness, sold these edibles to these children, begs the question, when it clearly states on the packet that suggested users are adults. Quote unquote, the same thing I say, not for children under the age of 18 or 21, whichever one Jamaica I work with. Right? And to see that this man take up and sell the children them this with high levels of weed in it primary school children it begs to question that this mania is must be illiterate in the sense where this mania can't read and write because there's no way if you could have did read and write you would have taken up this year 
and care go to school, go sell the school pit to them. Knowing say you are somebody who can read and write and have sense. If you don't understand about something, ask questions. Too much of our children them now go by the wayside and their hands are the big people them I cause it. Right? And them throwing blame now my people at Mark Golden. I'm want to know for we in Panda Park there. Because I have a um information here where you know we know that Mark Golden who was a former Minister of Justice in the People's National Party administration between 2012 and 2016, championed for the groundbreaking legislation to relax Jamaica's ganja laws in 2014. As a consequence, people found in possession of ganja weighing two ounces or less would not be arrested but would be required to pay a fine. So at this now, them are take and I throw the blame now upon the People's National Party slash Mark Golden. So I want to tell me what I want to think about that, my people. And Andre Stevens waiting on it for a little bit, my people. I'm going to hear what I'm saying. As me I say now, all weed gummy are Mali get in a school in a Jamaica. No must true Jamaica customs it come through airport. No must true Jamaica customs it come through airport. So all no one come blame PMP and Mark Golding for legalize cannabis. Look how much I only did I get lock up for, 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 for marijuana. A people must be responsible enough. Or if you can sell that to Peyton in a, a primary school. Or if you sell that to Pitney in a primary school. Or if you sell that to Pitney in a high school. Not even say can't go by you, we go sell it to them. Hey, you know, make me rub out to you know, tonight, you know. Right? It's heights of carelessness. Heights of carelessness. And right now in this segment, my people, the five boys who assisted the BB Coke student who was badly beaten by a senior student of that school for stepping on his clerks. They met up with the Prime Minister Andrew Olness and they gave them tokens and, you know, plaques to honor their heroic act because in truth and in fact, my people, if they weren't proactive then it could have gone the other way for you know this 14 year old student Jaim Coleman and uh, you know everybody was saying that you know these boys must be acknowledged you know for their heroic act and so he met up with them and more want to hear where, what he had to say my people not often that we see the kind of response that we saw with the young men from BB Coke and how they assisted their fellow student, Jaheed. The level of social dissonance that we see, particularly in our schools, uh, particularly with the use of violence, can sometimes lead us to believe that the value base of the society is totally eroded. What we saw being displayed is a reaffirmation that the core of our society is still good and that there are people, young people in our society without prompting that will act in the interest of their fellow men. The truth is that in today's world, we see too often persons who are more inclined to reach for their cell phone mm -hmm. to take a picture mm -hmm. or to record an incident rather than to reach out in a positive way to help someone in distress. And when we see this, as we are entering into the celebration of our heroes mm -hmm. in this month, when we see this, we must acknowledge it 
we must praise it. And in particularly in our young men, we must encourage it. I am not here proposing to say reward because this must be done without any contemplation of a reward. Mm -hmm. But that it has happened yeah. and that we are grateful that it has happened, that Jahim is grateful, that Jahim's survival today could be tied to the actions of these young men, that in acknowledging it, we also give tokens that they can have to recall this moment and to enlist them as ambassadors for good and ambassadors of positive behavior. Talk up my people and tell me what to think about all that was said in this video. Big man, we sell the youths, them the edible, the weed sweets. Gain yourself to the police station. You have big interest right now. Devon Wholeness. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel, my people. Run, go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. We do notifications, shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to comment and like and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes out to Sharon Bernard and Albert Ramey. Big up on yourself, big up to each and every subscriber. Thanks for all of the support on each video on the channel itself. New viewers, come on board, journey with me, join the family, subscribe to the channel on the road to 10k. Share out some of the videos, like up the videos, my people. It goes a far way. Stay tuned for more videos. Big up on yourself.